Who's Mike Massey? Uh, Mike Massey is me. I am a, a YouTube artist. I'm a singer. I'm a cover artist. I'm an acoustic artist. I'm a father, a husband. Um, I'm an attorney. I'm a former public defender. I'm a music fan. That's, that's how I identify myself. I'm a music fan. For what it's worth, it was worth all the while. It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. I hope you had the time of your life. I just had a standing gig since 1993 at this pizza place called the Pie Pizzeria. And I played there once a month, and I used that to kind of keep up my repertoire of songs and started filming the gigs in 2008. And eventually my YouTube channel took off to the point where I started thinking, if I put my full-time energy into this, I could do this full-time. When we posted our cover of Africa, we started seeing reactions like, wow, I'm like, is that a good wow or a bad wow? <laughs> you know, I wasn't sure. And, uh, and so I was like, okay, people like it, cool. And, uh, and then it kind of became its own little viral outbreak, you know, it, was, it spread on its own and, and, and that's how most people find out about us, is through our cover of Toto's Africa, and, which is great, I'm, I love it, and I love that song. Jeff Hall would usually join me for my gigs up at the Pi, and he'd play bass and sing back in vocals. When I was a child, I caught a three tinglets Out of the corner of my eye I turned to look, but it was gone One man betrayed with a kiss They made. And the sign flashed out his warning. Jeff has sort of been along on this ride with me where it started with, you know, filming YouTube videos here and there and occasional gigs out of state to where the point where he's now performed with me internationally in Germany and, you know, in England. Though I've passed 100,000 miles, I'm feeling very still. I had the pleasure of meeting Sterling Cottom in college. He, we were both tenors in the same choir, and so uh, we had a there was a choir a choir talent show where we performed together. And I suggested that we do uh, Scarborough Fair, and so I taught him how to play it on guitar. He hadn't played a lot of guitar at that point, he was a bass player. I taught him how to play it on guitar, we played it together, and we both realized that there was something special about our harmonies together. Our voices blended so well together, and per it was particularly suited for Simon and Garfunkel. Are you going to Scarborough Fair? Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. In the clearing stands a boxer and a fighter by his trade, and he carries the reminders of every love that laid him down or cut him till he cried out in his anger and his shame. 
I am leaving, I am leaving, but the fighter still remains. Mm -hmm. I'm empty and aching, and I don't know why. Counting the cars on the New Jersey Turnpike, they've all come to look for. When I moved to Colorado to become a full-time musician, I also wanted to continue to, to gig as a duo. So I was in search of someone that could play bass and sing backing vocals like Jeff did. And, and I found Bryce Bloom, and Bryce has done a great job of, of filling that role for me in all, all my local gigs. And, uh, and, and we've learned new songs together, and, and he's on my YouTube channel on videos that are just me and Bryce, and so it's kind of our own thing. And, I want to walk in the open wind I want to talk like lovers do Want to dive into your ocean Is it raining with you? Some songs just lend themselves better to piano than guitar. And so I have had some songs where I've initially learned it on guitar that I'm like, actually this would be a lot better on piano. Or vice versa. I used to know how to play Come Sail Away on piano when I was a kid, but I'm like, how cool would it be to do that on guitar? I Set an open course for the virgin sea. I have followers all around the world, and a lot of them don't speak English as their native language, but they still understand the music because I think of, because music is a universal language. Father Mackenzie wiping the dirt from his hands as he walks from the grave. No one was saved, all the lonely people. Where do they all come from? There's just some souls out there, I'm just one of them, where music is, it's an essential part of life. And it's one of the most important parts of life. It's like, for me, it's like family, music. I mean, that's it. I'm gonna take you by surprise and make you realize the Amanda. I'm gonna tell you right away, I can't wait another day, Amanda. Cover the music, cover the world. That's kind of my plan, it's like, I wanna cover the music I love, and I want to share it with the world. And a lot of the music is music the world already loves. Some of it might be music the world doesn't know it needs to love or doesn't love yet, but that's kind of my personal mission is to cover the music, cover the world.